everybody it's been a minute since i actually vlogged and switched my camera on it's literally been over a week which for me is a very long time the whole of last week so i'm just going to do a little bit of a catch up of what happened last week since i didn't film um i feel much better first and foremost thank you guys so much for the responses on my previous vlog where i was talking about having a bad anxiety day uh and the self-care and the bath time <laughs> thank and you so much your comments were so uplifting it it was nice to know that um i wasn't alone in what i was feeling i just feel like 2020 is wow <sighs> wow and trying to you know just continue work and blah 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 throughout this time is really really so so tough but um thank you to all you guys for your amazing 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 messages um another thing that i want to talk about that's new and tragic is um we lost king t'challa and I'm normally never really impacted so much by um, the death of celebrities. I'm not going to lie. It hurts and of course it's going to be like, oh man, oh man, what a bummer and whatever. But to Charla's death, Chadwick Boseman's, Bo Boseman, sorry about that. My memory card was full and then I had to switch memory cards real quick. Um, but what really hurt me last week about King T'Challa and I'm gonna call him King T'Challa because that that was what he was to me um, is I woke up to the news and uh, I woke up really early typically my partner wakes up a lot later than I do so when I woke up I saw the um, the tweets and I, I could see Chadwick and then I thought wait that's King T'Challa what what First and foremost, we had no idea. I had no idea that he even had cancer. And to then find out that he was doing all these movies while living with stage three cancer was like, Katla, what are you doing with your life? You know, I felt like King T'Challa showed us that, Amen, Amen, you have no excuse. And I thought about it all morning, all day. I was so broken by it. I was crying, reading the... I don't even want to cry again. I was crying, reading the tweets and watching the videos and then finding out that Denzel Washington, who's another one of my favorite actors, you know, helped him or funded him with something, something through his life and he didn't know until 10 years later. And like... His life story is amazing. His resilience was amazing. He's a king in, in all aspects of the word. And I feel like with Black Panther, Black Panther showed true, I don't, why am I screaming? Black Panther showed true greatness, true black greatness. Just, man. Black Panther was a movie that we could watch as black people and be like black people being viewed as excellence and excellence in terms of science, in terms of um, female power and femininity and just excellence in terms of just so many things. I'm feeling blocked right now because I was just really, really heard about, I was really heard about King T'Challa's death. It sucked. But may he rest in power. And I didn't even know he was married. Like, I, 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 yo. What I'm currently reading right now is Queenie. About a week and a half ago, I put up a picture on my Instagram, which I will show links so that you guys can see it. About a week ago, I put up pictures on my Instagram where I said, I'm going to start reading this book. I actually started reading this book <laughs> three days ago because I have had a busy last week i was at the office the whole week and when i came home i had more work to do so i really by the time i went to bed i was done i was done let me have a cup of tea hang on but i am only let us see 73 pages in 
um, I do want to give myself some time, a couple of hours today to actually read. So I'm going to do that. So far, it's okay. I feel like maybe just give it some time. I mean, it's got, let's see. But about 391 pages, so almost 400 pages, quite a big book actually. Um, so far, it's okay. I don't want to say anything about it because so far it's, it's, it's okay. I'll talk about it maybe later on in the vlog, which will continue on this week. But yeah, yeah. Funny. Keeping with the book theme, <laughs> uh, I've got a problem. Or the three books, right? Um, the thing is, I don't want to buy any books from October. So I feel like September will be the last month I buy books. And all the books that I have, I must finish by December, going into the next year. Then I'll start buying books in the next year. Um, so I went into exclusive books to pick up this book, which is Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. So... The cover, first and foremost, beautiful. Celeste Ng is the author behind my, my foot, pins and needles. So Celeste Ng is the author behind uh, Little Fires Everywhere. And this was her first, I think this was her debut novel. Yes, this was her debut novel, of which I heard wonderful things about. I am not going to read Pretty Little Fires Pretty Little Fires Everywhere, Little Fires Everywhere, um, because I feel like I watched the show, and I, I, nah, I, yeah, Little Fires Everywhere, it's right here at the back, at the back, um, I watched the show, and I feel like, nah, I, I wouldn't want to watch the book, because I've already watched the show, um, but I heard wonderful things about this one, and I really want to try it out, this is pretty much, it follows a Chinese-American family that, is living in in the 1970s that lives in a small town in ohio and in small town ohio they live in ohio and um the books pretty much opens with one of the children of the family dead so we already know that lydia is dead like literally that's the first line of the book Oh, she dedicated the book to her family. The first line of the book is Lydia is dead. And now we are obviously uh, reading the book. The family doesn't know yet. We already know. And um, we navigate through that. And the life of the family. What happened. Um, basically all of that. Life of a Chinese American family. But apparently it's an amazing read. Well written. And I can't wait. I would rather, if I'm not going to read Little Fires Everywhere, definitely read this. And then... Now, I don't read uh, Young Adult. However, this book was everywhere. So when I saw it at Exclusive Books, I thought, let me pick up this book and try to read one YA uh, novel. But the reason why I wanted to read this one is because it deals with it tackles uh power uh race um social and racial issues quite dynamic actually and um i wanted to see what it's about i feel like i want to read uh books that tackle race social injustices social activism that deal with things like feminism and all of that so if a novel can address those things for me i will definitely try it out not really saying that i'll ever be a ya fan i doubt it oh my plant is not there can you see right here it's i've currently put it through a shower but um this one has been getting all the praise this is such a fun age by kylie reed can you see? So it pretty much follows um, the story of a babysitter who is allegedly, it follows a babysitter who allegedly is being accused of kidnapping the child that she's actually babysitting, something like that. Uh, when Amira is apprehended at the supermarket for kidnapping the white child she's actually babysitting, it sets off an explosive chain of events. Her employer 
Alex, a feminist blogger with the best of intentions, resolves to make things right. But Amira herself is aimless, broke, and weary of Alex's desire to help. When a surprising connection emerges between the two women, it sends them on a crash course that will append everything they know about themselves, each other, and the messy dynamics of privilege. Okay? So we're already looking at the dynamics of white privilege, what white privilege is, racial dynamics, um, uh, feminism. It's already got so many interesting topics to me as a reader and as a feminist myself that I'm really keen on. And then I wanted to end off this portion of the vlog, vlog, this portion of the vlog with my Discam haul. Now I picked up some things from Discam. Normally when I do a Discam haul, it's either makeup or whatever. But so normally when I go into Discam and I do hauls of my Discam hauls on Instagram, it's normally makeup and those kinds of things. But as you guys already know, I am ridiculously OCD when it comes to cleaning and keeping the house clean. And I wanted to show you what cleaning items I use to keep my house clean. So it's not makeup. It's not beauty bits. It's not whatever. I'm actually expecting an order from Take A Lot that's only going to arrive next week, Monday. It's Monday today. It's only going to arrive next week, Monday, which has some beauty bits in there as well as some supplements and whatever. But today, I'm going to show you what I use to clean with when I clean in the house. And I've got them all here. But I've got other things. It's not just what I clean with. It's also... Um, Wow, there's bottles in there. ACV, maybe? It's also some of the things that I use on myself and my body. And I thought before I put them away, let me show you. The first thing out, my clothes. I use the Sunlight 2-in-1 Auto for my machine. This is pretty much what I use for my clothes. Served me great. I'm rich of habit when it comes to things that I, you know, clean up with and whatever. I don't, something spilled. The kombucha spilled. Okay, we've got kombucha in here, spilled. But then we've got Bragg's ACV, we love her. Ah, let me just get it out. So I wanted to try this kombucha. I'm typically somebody who really doesn't, I didn't jump on the kombucha train ever at all. So I wanted to try this uh, kombucha by Dr. Tom's. Should I actually try it now? But it's not cold, it's probably not gonna be nice. We'll come back to that. Okay. And then the next thing that I got out is that I picked up is honey. Now, you know I use raw honey for my, mm -mm, focus on the, the honey, please. You know I use raw honey for my coffee. So I typically pick up raw honey and then sometimes for little sprinkles of honey on toast or sprinkles or whatever. I don't take sugar anymore. Honey is my sugar but I barely take much of it, but yes. And then I've got my favorite toothpaste. This toothpaste, I have got very sensitive teeth and my dentist actually uh, recommended this toothpaste to me. And let me tell you something. I brush my teeth twice a day, morning and night, and my dentist is the one who actually, my foot is falling asleep again. My dentist is the one who actually recommended that I pick up this one um, and ever since I've used it I barely have any teeth problems barely barely it's really good for sensitive teeth in terms of hot things cold things really love it this is the Colgate sensitive pro relief love it then, of course tuisha paper tissue paper always go with baby soft if I'm not going with baby sauce, I'm going with something else that is two ply, it's fine. But most of the time it's baby sauce. And then for my floors, to get my floors smelling the, the amazing way that they smell. I love it. I love this one. This is the Cobra Active Tile Cleaner in the crisp apple scent. Really, really love this one. Um, I also like the pine scent because the pine scent reminds me of pine gel. If you grew up in a black household, pine gel is a thing. You'll know exactly what it is. And then, this game really has really nice sales. 
um, and this two pack of sunlight dishwashing liquid I picked up and it's two of my favorite ones it's got different scents and whatever all that jazz but these are two of my favorite ones um, one is slightly smaller one is 750 and one is 400 mils and I picked it up for the price of the big one so I got two of these for the price of the big one so we love her and then my clothes smell like babies because I always use the Stay Soft Baby and I picked this one up. I normally pick up the I normally pick up the two liter one because and this typically would last me because I'm alone in the house typically lasts me two to three months. Really lost me a long time because I don't do laundry as often sometimes if i do if i'm doing sheets and things and rugs and maybe blah 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 then it might it might last me less than that because i still i still go ham even on a rug with the stay soft <laughs> and then for the bathroom for the toilet you know i gotta keep the toilet clean gotta keep it smelling nice i really love the harpic white and shine potpourri uh, scent and really really love this always get the potpourri scent love the scent but typically I don't get potpourri for other things it's just the toilet thing weird weird but a thing and then um we know this we know this Gynagod intimate wash been a uh, ride or die for the longest time now so and then really not that much left apart from Nivea Pearl and Beauty. This is what I use under my arms because Yana Yagara. You gotta <laughs> body odor is not a real thing. How did I write the body odor? And then on Pamela's channel I saw um she talked about I, I'm at I, I, <clears throat> I'm literally I literally just picked this up so that she influenced me just so that I can try. I feel like this is for people who don't quite enjoy water, the taste of water. My friend Roxanne could jump onto this because she does, she really just doesn't like water. But for me, I love water, so it's fine. But apparently they're these skinny, super shaped, skinny flavor. I don't even care about the whether the skinny or the what, I don't know, I don't care. Um, skinny flavor infusions, sugar-free and aspartame-free, and it's vegan. So I picked up the peach iced tea version of this. So apparently you just stick this into water. Wow, wow pins and needles. <laughs> apparently you just stick this into water and that's it. Makes your water taste some type of way. We're going to try this out today. She better be serious because I don't spend my 20 something rand. Gee. You know? Okay. Pretty much that's it. That's what I picked up. It's a really short, small Anyana haul. I do want to show you that I haven't touched this room since, since, and I promise that today that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna clean up this room, okay? Say it again, say it again. You're saying you're sorry, so say it again.
my phone, yeah. Three o'clock in the morning. We've been going and going. Back and forth, cause we don't know better. And I thought we'd be different. Yeah, we were on to some good shit. We keep dancing with the devil, but he doesn't have a back door. Should be pulling away from the fire. Should go, but I don't even try. Gone in the deep end tonight. Tonight, tonight. Okay, so I was pretty much showing you the tidying up. Oh, it is golden hour right now. So like when you've got your makeup on, this is the time to take pictures and look pretty and look cute and look everything. I don't. I'm looking quite rich today and I'm okay. Uh, speaking of looking quite rich, my hair is in that phase where it's growing out. So the sides look black, not so much on the top, but the sides look black. And I'm really fighting with myself because I feel like I want it to grow just a little bit more before I go and cut it. I'm not going to re-dye it again. The reason why is because um, dye is not that great for your hair if you do it like, you know, um, within small intervals from the previous time to the next time. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I just am going to go and probably just cut and trim the sides, but not now, probably maybe a week from now. And, uh, I'm just giving it time to just, you know, grow and I don't comb it, but I oil it every single day. I wet it when I'm in the shower and then I oil it and then I wash it about twice a week. That's probably, it's just, just why it's growing so quickly, but I'm about it. There the sun comes again. Um... Just in case you guys think I don't eat sweets. These are some of my favorite sweets. I treat myself sometimes when I go to the shops and I'm picking things up. I'll often, someone is burning something outside. Ugh. I'll often um, get a lunch bar, which I absolutely love. If not, I'll get these uh, speckled eggs. Love them. I have to often fight myself, don't get the big packet, always get the small packet because I can devour these. Like, <laughs> and uh, Black Panther is playing tonight. DSTV actually listened and we're going to celebrate King T'Challa tonight. So we're going to celebrate his life, we're going to celebrate his art, we're going to celebrate him. And I'm definitely going to watch Black Panther tonight and probably record it as well. So it's always on my TV. This? Come on, are you serious? How am I going to be open to do a collaboration when your profile is all white women? There's no black women here. All right, so I'm going to sit here and read. I was just checking any last minute emails that I may have missed but it seems like everything is A1 so I'm gonna sit here and read um, what I really like about this book is that it's got multimedia in it so there's there's uh, snippets from text messages and emails as well so it's really really good to see something different aside from just full-on writing in a book but I'm gonna read this now Try and get maybe 50 pages done, hopefully. I'll make myself a cup of tea, then chill here and read. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Ooh, T'Challa Maranali Mo. Whoa! Gosh, yeah! And Maranali Mo. This is the Chadwick. I came to Chawa. She'll be pulling away from 
the fight Should go but I don't even try Gone in the deep end tonight Tonight, tonight